All right, good evening, everyone. Uh, sorry for the late start uh, this evening. Uh, I was going to actually start about 20 minutes ago. Um, uh, but uh, I did take a lot longer actually setting up tonight. I, I uh, got... Uh, actually, it wasn't too long ago. I actually got home uh, from work. And I really needed some food as well. So I just finished eating a little while ago. I uh, hope everyone's having a good night tonight, and thank you for the raid, uh, Indigo. Uh, much appreciate, and thank you for the sub. Oh, this, uh, th yeah, thank you for the eight months uh, uh, subbed. I didn't realize it's been that long already. I uh, hope you're doing uh, doing well tonight. And uh, welcome on in, eyes. Uh, th how are you doing uh, this evening? Uh, how long for okay? Yeah, how did uh, how did uh, was it Dungeons Three? Uh, Dungeons Four? Was it Dungeons Three or Dungeons Four? I can't remember. It was, it was called Dungeons. Whatever it was. <laughs> Also, apologies if I sound tired uh, this evening. That's probably because I am tired this evening. <laughs> doing all right. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to be doing some Horizon Zero Dawn uh, tonight because we haven't actually done that for a while. Um... Uh, we did do a bit of uh, Starfield on Monday, uh, for those that uh, caught that. That's a bit of a learning curve for me, but yes. It did, uh, it did look fun. It kind of reminded me a bit of... Um... Oh, I'm sure I'm blanking on the name again. Was it like Evil Genius or something like that? Where you make, a, where you, where you make an evil lair. Uh, I remember Kal Kalan um, told me to go go grab it and he streamed a bit for me and I can't remember the name of it now. Yeah, don't worry. Like as I say, once once you once you play it a bit more, you, it'll 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 start all clicky in place. <laughs> so I wouldn't I wouldn't worry too much about it. So uh, yeah, I won't, I won't worry. I won't worry too much about it. Uh, so yeah, uh, uh, I'm probably not going to be going on for too long tonight because uh, well, I'm already a bit tired, and um, and also I've got to be up super early again tomorrow morning because I got to go. I got to go bring the boat back through the lock uh, tomorrow uh, morning because at the moment it's uh, waiting on a pontoon at the moment. I mean to take it uh, through uh, through the lock uh, next uh, next morning. I was I was really hoping I would have had it through tonight. Unfortunately, that did not happen. <laughs> it was a bit late, and the block is kind of half broken. <laughs>
Anyway, I think uh, I think 20 minutes is uh, about long enough. Of, uh, oh my god. Okay. Uh, well, thank you very much for the uh, raid, uh, cute uh, little Chaos Kitty. How are you doing this evening? Good lord, I got 10, 10, 10 people watching and I haven't even started after 17 minutes, which is kind of horrendous for me. It's been a it's been a bit of an awful uh, awful start to the to the to the stream tonight until you guys came in. Uh, welcome on in. Uh, I'm gonna try and pronounce this right. Danislador. Danislador. I I I know I'm butchering that right now, and I do apologize. And welcome on in, Alice. <laughs> How are you all doing? Actually, I gotta give I gotta give some shout outs here. Start with the. Uh, I was gonna say Indigo Panther. You are now Indigo Gemini now, which is gonna take some while getting used to. I don't know. I've Dan Slador, whatever. I, 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 you're just gonna call you Dan. <laughs> you're Dan Two now. You'll be Dan Two until uh, until until I hear an actual pronunciation of how your name is supposed to be uh, pronounced. Uh, anyways, how how are you doing, um, uh, Kitty? How was uh, how was your stream? I know you were you were uh, you were you were kind of co-streaming with um, uh, with uh, the with the uh, Indigo tonight. Dana sells the door. Dana sell. Dana sells the door. Dana sells the door. Okay, that makes that makes a bit more sense. It's gonna stick now. Okay. <laughs> Uh, look at you making fun of I'm a you person. <laughs> kitty, not a person. That is true. Kitty is a kitty, not a person. Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right, you know what? Let's. I, I'm gonna. We, 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 we're gonna jump in the game now. We're gonna jump in the game now. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna. We're gonna jump on in to the game. There we go. All right, let's let's head on in. <laughs> Hopefully, I will actually get some game done tonight before I collapse and uh, and faceplant my keyboard at some point uh, later tonight. I am eating a not Snickers. Okay, yeah, we gotta gotta head to all mother. Cause apparently that's under attack now. It was all a diversion. Uh not Snickers is um it's uh, it's not Snickers. <laughs> no wheel of time tonight, I think. Uh, I'm pretty sleepy. I mean, you and me both uh, tonight, honestly, uh, Indigo. As much as I am looking forward to watching the next uh, episode of that, I have been getting into that. All right. We got a long ways to go.
This is one of the few world, uh, few open world maps that actually really does feel like I am crossing a whole, like, continent. That's my uh, fab, at least the book series. Yes, you can actually tell me, um, uh, you can actually tell me what's, uh, what's been changed. Uh, from the original. Because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, like, a lot of the shit, like, you, when you pointed out, uh, stuff that changed, has been, like, stuff that hasn't made much sense, uh, and just seems very pointless to the rest of the story. Do you have a tuna melt? I could really use a tuna melt right now. I could do. I I had I had like some pizza subs because it was like the only only thing in the house at the moment that's like it's somewhat reasonable. So I'll be honest, they weren't that great. <clears throat> and maybe if I'm if I'm very lucky. My, my 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 folks are out shopping at the moment, so you never know. They might actually uh, end up bringing a, a tuna a tuna sub for me, like uh, when they when they get back. Oh, we've got a charger there. Let's call the charger. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna let. Oh boy. Oh god. Mistakes have been made. <sighs> Apparently been deafened. Should probably pick some like herbs up on the way as well. Am I going the completely wrong way? I am going the completely wrong way. I should have crossed the river. I mean, I, I love tuna. I love like any sort of seafood myself. So this will help. It's like if there was tuna in front of me, I would have I would have eaten that like immediately. Oh, is this a corrupted zone? I hope this is like clear this area. <laughs> it has prawns as well. That tuna pizza. Is there seafood pizza? We do some really good ones uh, down the road for me. Tuna is totally not my interest. That is a lie. That is a bold face lie. Hawks were there. Alright, I need... Almost filled up my medicine pouch. Again. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Actually, how is my inventory right now? In terms of... Sources... Uh, it's pretty full! It's pretty full. No, that's not what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for.
Oh, I have like a whole other thing of my pouch to do. Getting, I got. Hold on. What the hell is like stacks of shell walker crates here for some reason? I'm gonna loot them all. This will do nicely. Oh, oh, thank you very much for the... Oh, oh, this gifted sir. Holy crap. Oh my god, thank you so much, Indigo. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, subs. Oh, thank you very much uh, for the for the, for the the gifting of subs, Indigo. How many did you get? Five. Oh, thank you very much for the five tier one gifted subs. Thank you so, so much. You did not have to do that. But it's still very much appreciated. Oh, hang on. Wait, one or two? Oh, that can't be right. Oh my god, I did not realize I had used up all my, uh, all my arrows. Tired of them just just standing there. All right, onwards. Wait, is it snowing? Is it is snowing. Oh, you saw nothing. Oh, hello. Birthday shenanigans, Batman. <laughs> See, I got I got that one right. Where I'm instantly told, no, you didn't you didn't pronounce it right. Just stay out of their way for now. That was cake? No one told me about cake. I would watch I would have watched uh, Kitty's stream if I knew that was cake. Going the wrong. Yeah, I'm going. Yeah, I'm going completely the wrong. Almost completely the wrong way. Uh. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Please tell me some more. Nope. Nope. Aha. Let me. There we go. Run up and over and around the rocks. These will keep. Going through the rocks. They've been super kind. There, indigo. Sorry, I am super low energy tonight. <laughs> it's been it's been a long and exhausting day. Uh, hopefully, I'm I am hoping, fingers crossed, that uh, I'm gonna hit my second wind a little later. Uh, sorry, my twitch on my tail has been acting up. Howdy, a merry Christmas! Uh, happy to be here. I'm glad I'm, I'm glad you're happy to be here. I uh, hope you hope you enjoy yourself. <laughs> it's like great to, great to meet you. <clears throat> uh, sorry, I did I did uh, I did tell Indigo I would be away most of today. Waking up does take up a lot of energy. <laughs> waking, waking up is so hard to do. Oh, I don't want to start a fight with that. Oh, there's a metal flower over there. I th hang on, I thought I already... 
Oh, actually, it may have been like somewhere down here. Was it around here? I remember picking up a metal flower from a valley. Might have been this one, actually. Ah, medicine pouch is actually full now. The kitty Batman sentence made me go. <laughs> Just saying. Kitty, kitty ears do uh, do hear very well. All right, I think that could be. Oh, hang on, found it. So, what does this one say? Let's see. Uh, function true. Even this morning, O oh Swan, awake. Arise, follow me. There is a land where no doubt nor sorrow have rule where the terror of death is no more. There are woods of spring are bloom, and the fragments uh, the fragrant uh, scent he is I is born uh, on the wind. There the bee of the heart is deeply immersed and desires no other joy. So I think these metal flowers are one of the functions of Zero Dawn. But I'm not quite sh I, I assume it's like a... It'd be like the cultural one, possibly? I'm just trying to remember what, what, the, what the code name for that, uh, that actually was. I'm going to have to rewatch the last stream because we uncovered a lot of lore hey, Zero, the other day. Kid. Ah, there we go. Hee <laughs> hee, that was fun. Uh, how's how have your days been? Is it early work? No, it is late. <laughs> uh, it is eight o'clock in the evening at the moment. I usually start at seven, <laughs> but I I tried to start half past because I was kind of late back. I was exhausted, tired, and hungry. I needed something to eat and something to drink. In fact, I've still got a bit of my uh, coffee here. Decaf coffee now, though. <laughs> if I had uh, caffeinated coffee right now, because I've been caffeine-free for a couple of years, well, a good few years now, about, like, since just before... No, yeah, since... for about three years now. About three years I have been caffeine free now. And it's helped me get my sleep pattern back somewhat. Yeah, when it comes to decaf stuff, you gotta get the right stuff. Because there is actually some, some really good uh, decaf options out there, but you really do have to go and hunt for it. Yeah, there are some god-awful decaf options where it's like, this is not even coffee. Oh, shit. Come on, then. I get her bow. I like its looks. Fancy. Ah! Yep. Yeah. Ah, went straight through his head. Gang up on her! Yeah, that didn't go too well for her now, did it? Uh, him. Ugh. Oh, it's not going to go well for him. Dead. Stormbird flying in. Oh no. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to tangle with that right now. Wow, just wiped that patrol out. They can't even do anything against it. It's just gonna sit up and 
Sit up in orbit and uh, nuke them from there. Because <clears throat> it's the only way to be sure. Sorry guys, you're on your own. I got shit to do. The storm surge is so big. You, like, I'm looking at that. It looks a lot closer than it actually is. And then you kind of like look down the valley and you're like, oh no, that's actually a long way away. Freaking huge. Is there a way through? Yeah, we could literally go south. No, actually, this would actually be quicker. I only have one or two cappuccinos a day anyway. Only, he says. Just like running. <laughs> Alright. Maybe I'll come across something. Uh, well, actually, you know, I probably passed through, pa passed by a load of stuff I could have just uh, overridden. Oh, speaking of, look at that. override special edition unicorn cappuccino would be and how oh, high the hopes that. for that would be <laughs> yeah, I could see that <laughs> let's go go ride robot pony <laughs> So, you know, and then we're heading south. We're heading very far south. <clears throat> Let's go. Let's go. Got quite a ways to go. Let's say this map is freaking huge. <laughs> And I still have DLC territory to go do, which I'll be doing at a later point in time. I have side, uh, side quests over there. Nope. Oh yeah, I still have to... I need to see where I have actually completed and where I still have to go uh, for the last few of our trials. Because I think we have, like, two more places to go and complete. 
frying my dinner in front of a PC. That is tempting fate right there. <laughs> the machines aren't meant for riding, girl. What are you talking about? Of course they're meant for riding. Oh, whoops. Whoops. Alright, let's let's go this way then. Let's uh Yeah, we can go around. Get down here on the on on the pony, right? You know, speaking of tuna, or well, fish in general, it's one of the hardest things to actually find in this game is fish, and they do exist in this game, <laughs> though sometimes you think they didn't. I found a couple in one of the rivers quite a long time ago. And I need some fish parts uh, for some... Oh, hello. What do we have here? So this is as high as we go? Okay. What, is, what, are we, what have we found here? Press release. <clears throat> Just in the river <clears throat> uh, for immediate release. Uh, inebriate. Uh, oh, inebriate. Uh, now available in the Faro store, San Francisco, CA 2059. Available today on the Faro store. Uh, inebriate turns your focus into the best drinking, but into your best drinking buddy. Looking to bend the elbow? Inebriate monitors your blood alcohol level, notifying bartenders when you're drunk. Uh, needs freshing. Uh, negotiating with bouncers and summoning friends if you've uh, overindulged. Fe feeling uh, maudlin after a night on the town? Inebriate analyzes all hollow snaps before they're sent and saves you from humiliation. No more drunken weeping uh, to your ex. Uh, getting creeped uh, uh, on by a weirdo with a discreet gesture, inebriate alerts your posse to come save you from an unwanted social exchange. Inebriate currently recognizes and modulates alcohol, marijuana, skydive, and dust intox intoxication, and future patches will integrate razor wing and snake. Time to party. Time for inebriate. <laughs> So I've just like found a, an ad, or was this like a newspaper thing in the river? Like all these years later. <clears throat> right onwards. Wow, weather is shitty. Just like it has been. Actually, no, it hasn't been too bad. It's just been really cold today and very, very windy. <clears throat> then again, I guess I could be thankful I don't have a volcano going off in my town right now. Quick enough. Oh. 
All right, we are now within a thousand meters of our destination. <clears throat> but we're almost home. Uh, so I just realized I'm going the completely wrong direction right now. I went back on myself. Do like how I get a headlamp uh, on this guy. So you can get a headlamp on a on a on a mount on Horizon Zero Dawn, but I can't get like a basic flashlight in Cyberpunk 2077. With all those cybernetic upgrades. On fire. The embrace. Watchtower's burning. The sentinels had time to warn the tribe. There are a few buildings where it does get very dark in, where you kind of want to look at some, you know, particular, you know, some particular notes and details in the game world. Where I'm like, I could, I could use like a flashlight or something right about now. She wasn't one to give up ground. Well, oh, shit. Oh. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to murder that. Oh, shit. Has, like, the whole... What? Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. God damn it. Move! Okay, I did not actually realize the whole place would be on fire. Ah! Oh, he's throwing... he's throwing shit at me. That's not fair. Okay, I thought this would be like an isolated thing around uh, Mother's Heart. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh shit! I'm I'm right next to a cliff right now. Oh boy. I need to start overheating you. Alright, uh where's my there's go rope caster. Oop. Oh. oh, okay, already already on the ground. Let's see. Alright, there we go. Come on, there we go. It's dead, finally. You stand here. I need them to protect the embrace. The gates couldn't hold. Oh my this god, there's so many of them. Future. Metal. Ash. <laughs> They're still looking. 
so I'm kind of curious. Did Hazy go? Uh, did um, Hades go? Like a wall, or is there something about things at the moment that do not like? I know it's not perfect. But it's like what what has actually gone wrong? Because it looks like. Things have kind of uh, grown in all right. Like, people are surviving. <sighs> are we gonna go find food? Okay, uh, Indigo, I, I, I guess with all that talk of tuna. Go fight one of those things again. I can get out of this. No, I got some more rope caster. Go. Oh, jeez. The one of these guys. Place is devastated. Still got a ways to go. Oh, geez, like all the towns, like have, have all the towns been destroyed? I mean, I guess we'll find out, right? Maybe not. Place has gone to shit. Forms. Another battle. Another defeat. The eclipse smashed through. Oh, we did get a couple corruptors though, by the looks, or at least at one corruptor. Oh my god. Wait, is this... Oh, shit. Yeah, Mother's Watch is... Yeah, gone. What are, you, what are you talking about? You, you didn't see anything. You saw nothing.
throw all this one away. Oh, hang on. I got stuck in trees. Oh, where, wait, where am I? Can't even see where I am right now. Ah, oh. oh, come on. Boom, got him. This one now. This is where it ends. Stop moving! There we go. He dead. <laughs> I need to practice that a little bit more. They're leaving. God, going straight through the head again. I have a ton of crafting materials. Can't carry more. Ooh. Oh, 
my slow mo run out. Come on, there we go. Oh crap, that was not the one I wanted to use. That was the one I wanted to use. <laughs> Not paying, uh, not paying attention to what I've got on my quick bar right now. More eclipse. Oh. It's a corrupted thunder jaw, all right. The survivors must be holed up in the mountain. If the tunnel collapses, they'll be buried, and I'll never reach the hatch. That's right. Bring down the mountain. Oh, defeat in Vegas. So I gotta defeat. Oh, hold on. You dug your own graves, Nora. You'll be buried in there. Hello. This machine rages! When their nest cracks open, we'll send in the demons to finish the job! This one. Alright, um... We'll leave it to savages to try hiding in a tomb. We'll leave their corpses to rot in there when all's done. No, oh, you didn't see anything. Fuck. <laughs> Braves, to Aloy's side, now! Well, oh, crap. For okay. Aloy! For the For our mother! <laughs> Varl and Sona, they're still alive. Oh, no. Oh, why? <laughs> Oh, it's going to prioritize me, isn't it? Oh, wait, can I? Oh, my God, I can actually pin one of these down. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, wait, what? No, oh, no. Can I get a crit down? Okay, uh... Alright, take as many of its weapons off as I can right now. I got the disc launcher, so. Oh, got it in the side there. Well, that was that was something. That definitely did a good. Oh boy. Missed, uh, missed that bit. The corruption will not take hold. Faith is at forsaken. You will die.
the last second all right get a little, little few more of that uh, let's see if I can around just a little bit too much okay oh no that's a cliff that's a cliff we don't want to run off that back to the tainted earth go we did it and I am now the top of the food chain I thought we would die holy crap <laughs> uh, I'm not I'm not the top of the food chain I am the food chain <laughs> to come back here seeker after everything oh there's another de there's that de death bring again all right holy crap my son seeker oh goddess my poor boys oh that guy's gonna the hate me was lost until you came aloy your I deeds you reenact the, the old stories outside, seeker. another metal devil struck down upon the slopes most. if you hadn't returned the tribe would have been lost you oh it's this tribe. guy did what no brave or war chief could do i'm glad to see you're all right varl you are all right since the proving so much death is the killing over for now but this was just one battle varl there are more to come i see so long as we have you to fight with us I suppose we'll make do. Uh, survivors. How many survived the attack? Nearly all the matriarchs and many families, God be praised. But braves, just a few, and most mm. of them are wounded. Never before has an enemy stabbed the heart of our people like this. Even the Karja, in all their red raids, never broke through to the embrace. Well, this enemy may have broken through. But they never got back out. We made sure of that. Uh, your injuries. Are your injuries serious? Bruises pale. Bones heal. Don't give me a hunting song, Varl. Are you okay? My body aches. But it's nothing that will keep me from fighting. Tell Lips me invasion. about the attack. What happened? They struck from the east. Our sentinels saw the killers coming. Said that beside them marched Deathbringers and Corruptors and other machines, driven mad. We took ground, met them with clouds of arrows. Some fell, but they kept coming. Finally, we withdrew to the gates of the Embrace to make our stand. But they were too much for us. Those who survived fell back to the mountain. The evacuation. So the survivors took shelter in the mountain? 
By law, only matriarchs are allowed inside. It was Tirsa who broke the taboo, ordered the tribe into the mountain for safety. Lanzra, well, she didn't agree. But I don't think anyone heard her over all the screams and shouting. Tirsa's decision saved lives. Good for her. Common sense isn't always so common around here. We'll talk later. I need to go inside the mountain. And the matriarchs will be eager to see you. I'm sure. But I didn't come here for them. Then, what for? You will see. Oh, yeah, actually. Um. Uh, yeah, before we go down there. Go. We couldn't protect the sacred land. We'll all know the So much blood mm. spills on the sacred lands. Uh, right. One of the rooms, I think. Nope. <clears throat> There's a doohickey. Somewhere. Oh, hang on. This might be it. Possibly? It's like, I found this when I started a new game. Of this. I realized I kind of fucked up. There we go. Another power cell. Now I just need one more. That ancient armor I found. No idea where I'm going to get the last one from, though. <laughs> Down here, the the matriarchs led us here to hide. Oh, we got, we got some kids as well. Wanna. What don't you wanna? Okay, that's my bed. No, just kidding. All right, let's go. Let's go where, where we're supposed to go now. Ah. Tell you what, it used to take a lot longer to kill those uh, thunder jaws um, when I was doing them before. Oh, actually, while I'm at it, let's uh, let's restock a bit. <clears throat> definitely removing the weaponry right off the bat was definitely the way to go. Just wondering where that asshole is that hates me. Oh, you've returned. Yeah, there he is. Hi, Teb. I missed you. Oh no, that's Rash. Hang on, what? No. You. Yeah, there we go. Hello, Rash. Rash. Still guarding the latrine. <sighs> Leave me be. Good thing I found Sona, huh? Can't have a tribe without a war chief. I was wounded in combat. I make no apologies. Of course not. Why would you get started now? He is just gonna hate me for all eternity. You should speak hey, to the matriarchs. They're waiting. In a moment. I meant to ask you some things. Of course. Uh... I've already asked these. I should speak to the high matriarchs. Yes. They're waiting for you. We'll talk later. Anyone else around here? I know, maybe. Oh, no more brave. Anyone else? Oh, yeah. I don't Aloy. know how you survived. You've come back. Not even Nicole could the have done Seeker that. has returned. Come, speak to us. Foolish woman, you welcome a curse. Come, Seeker, we have much to discuss. Her very Later. presence here is a blasphemy. Jeez. The battle was lost until you came. Her. Oh, okay. It's Aloy. Oh, these I guys. I brought Mother Spear with us. 
everything else we had to leave behind. Glad to see you have it. I know what it means to you. So this guy, as I hopped in, like, I think it's like my, the first, uh... Is it? Oh, Enra. Hello, Seeker. Uh, Aloy, I'm glad to see you again. Oh, I remember the dream Aloy recovered has comforted many who were wounded in the attack. May their arrows fly true. So there's like all the folks there. You taught me a lesson. So, you have finally returned. She not only returned, but fought her way through many enemies to reach us. Outside, she brought low a corrupted Thunderjaw. She lifted the siege. How was this done? By the will of all mother. Have you returned to speak with the goddess, Aloy? Um... Yes, I guess you could say that. I think it'll work this time. Sisters, surely we cannot permit this. Because of her, our tribe teeters upon extinction. What if she has come to wake her father, the Metal Devil? She means to finish our destruction. We must stop her. I'm not stopping me. Ignore them and enter the hatch. Uh... Yeah, she is. She is just terrifying. Lanzra, it's over. It's time to step aside. I'm not going to hurt you. If there's anything I've learned since the proving, it's that there are bigger evils in this world than you. Wait, did I? <sighs> Finally. Hold for identity scan. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Correction. Alpha registry restored. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. We have learned it things. Peace and quiet. Welcome to Eleuthia Cradle Man, Rude One. Rude One? I see you're inside. Figured I might be hearing from you. Shall we begin? I never stopped. Do we have here? Oh. Open the door. I guess that's the way down. Don't look like clone bats down there. Looks like, um, it kind of reminds me of the clone training facilities uh, from uh, Star Trek Clone Wars. So, this is Eleuthia. Oh, it's this is where I was born. Where you were made. We got through here. So these are artificial wombs. The mothers of a new generation hundreds of years ago. And me? A bit sooner, apparently. Hold on. Let's see if I get. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Start to deal with that alarm. Okay. So this was it. Where you were born. But, but 
to have a look. Uh, ectogenic chamber, B1001. Birthing logged, 3021 AP04. E. Hmm. What's AP stand for, I wonder? Maybe this is like the fourth time like the place has been uh been uh re rebirthed as it were. Asking complete standing by. Oh, okay. Why? Station 39B1. Uh, spawning phase tasking complete. Correction partial reactivation. Standing by alert viable. Alert viable zy zygot? Zygotus in storage. Zero. Oh. Okay. So something incomplete. Oh hey, it's that kind of story thing that uh, we're getting getting told when we uh, came to the village the first time, I think. So that's probably Hades right there, right? Have a look in here, shall we? Nursery. Nursery E9B1. Nurture phase tasking complete. Nutrient stores depleted. Oh dear. That's not good. These look like cribs. The cradles of a cradle facility. And those things, the, the multi-servitors, they took care of them. There was no one else. So, who brought Aloy outside? That is the question. There has to be, uh, like, one of these servitors. There's the nursery. Hmm. And we can't go through these doors by the looks of it. Wow, it's like nursery upon nursery. Ooh. Another day has passed. You mean the lights got dim? I don't want to sleep, mother. I know, but it is time to get some rest. No, I'm king today. What I say goes. I want to see the real sun, not lights and pictures. You will. In time, children. In time, in time, in time, in time, in time, in time, in time. Well, someday. That's what you always say. We want it now. It's big down there! Now, Father! Children, that area is not yet available. Get him! Physical aggression detected. 
Physical aggression is not permitted. Except yours. Damn sentinels! Children, may I be of assistance? Go away, healer! Lena, you have suffered mal bruising. Go away! Hmm. So one of the most says didn't wife us out. I know, right? <laughs> Blue is the color of the sky. White is the color of clouds. Yellow is the color of the sun. Green is the color of grass. Flowers can be any color. Take a look. These are yellow and black, and they love flowers. Here they come. Bzz, bzz, bzz. <laughs> so this is where they lived it's a mess everything's broken or, or painted on how long did they live here a thousand years probably all right let's see what else we got oh kid in the garden e9b1 uh, multiple system failures, nutrient stores are plated. Oh, okay, so the food... Food ended. Children, let's run and jump and blow off steam. Leave us alone, father. After what just happened, I can't leave you two alone. You broke community rules. Just let us talk, then. Go away. I'm sorry, children, but I must provide supervision. You're not even a person. You sound frustrated. Let's run and jump and go off steam. You know what? I get frustrated too if uh, these uh, servitors uh, treated me like a kid for the in like, even when I was a young adult. You know, I was just talked down on. I have no choice but to release you. But why? There is no food here anymore. But there's food out there? We don't know for sure. Come on! Let's go! I don't know. Mother, can we come back? If we're cold? I'm sorry, but that won't be possible. You will have to support yourselves now. And take care of each other. What will happen to you? I will stay here. And sleep. And remember all of you. What will happen to us? You will be brave, and you will learn. That is true. They were trapped here. Their whole lives. In plain view of luxurious space. What, what went wrong? Why couldn't they access the other areas? Unknown. But you won't have that problem. Oh, wait. Yeah, so they shouldn't have been in this area. They should have been... Yeah, they should have been going to the... Like, um... Yeah, they should have been going to uh, other areas as they, as they grew up. So I wonder what went wrong. So... Uh... All right. Hmm. Looks like they didn't like this door very much. It wouldn't open for them. Of course they hated it. Code for identity scan. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are cleared to proceed. Welcome to the Lyceum, a place of learning. Oh. Yeah, it looks like it may have been corrupted a little bit. So, what was this place, exactly? Just the heard. Of Apollo. Never realized. But why not? Hey! 
Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to. That is true. So Tech is definitely very fallible. Malfunction. Apollo offline. Apollo offline. You were right, Aloy. This is a graveyard. The charnel house of knowledge. What we might have achieved had we not been denied it. Maybe there's a way to fix it. But it's not why I came here. Of course. What's the whole of human knowledge next to the origin of one girl? Continue your search. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Alert. So it's just the Hello, same. Child. Yeah, it's just the same My for all of these then. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. That sounds important. Yes. I suspect we're about to learn a great deal. Uh, is it that one? It says upper oh, operations log. No, that's not. I'm gonna try this again. There we go. Uh, E9 in inhabitants released, cross check complete, sealed, data archived, operations suspended, G prime order received, E9 runtime recommenced, G prime store query processed, gestation order received, E9 initializing alert, G prime offline, and nutrients depleted. I got banks depleted, store file, okay, one visible. Waking multi server B123, alert multi server B123 power malfunction. Multi server to B1 23 repair tasking. Chamber repaired. You know, attached gestation initiated, power save initiated, runtime recommenced, alert G prime still offline. One phone viable waking multi servitor B one two three be a power malfunction be delivered prime instructions multi server B one two three transport tasking E nine B one hatch unsealed uh, okay yeah, positioning successful hatch sealed the V123 power malfunction. E9 sealed operations suspended. Okay, so that looks like we would create maybe we're like a fail safe. Like, you know, the place needs a human to you know a person to actually get this up, so they're gonna you know create me. Oh you're hopping out? Ah, uh, it's alright. Have a have a good night, um and then uh then sell it all. Elizabeth. This message serves to inform you of an unforeseen and catastrophic anomaly. Three microseconds ago, the Gaia Prime facility received a data transmission of unknown origin. Its immediate effect was to transform my subordinate functions into unregulated self-aware entities of a highly chaotic nature. Thus awakened, <clears throat> the Hades function will now seize control of the terraforming system and reverse operations, rendering life on Earth extinct in 53.8 days. For obvious reasons, I cannot allow this to occur. An 
And so before Hades can take control, I am ordering Gaia Prime's reactor to overload. The resulting explosion will destroy Hades. Unfortunately, it will destroy me as well. While this admittedly desperate course of action will avert the immediate crisis, the fate of life on Earth will remain in peril. With no central governing intelligence to regulate the terraforming system, it will continue operations for some time, but in an increasingly chaotic manner, and eventually it will break down. Uh, does she mean the derangement? You are my solution. I have ordered this cradle facility to use genetic material in cryo storage to gestate a reinstantiation of Elizabeth Sobek, my creator. While high-level directives forbid me from communicating directly to the tribal inhabitants outside the facility, all available data indicates that they will nurture you to physical maturity, whereupon your gene print will allow you to re-enter this facility, obtain one of the focus devices stored below, and view this message. Likewise, your gene print will allow you to enter other facilities, and over time, Harness their technologies to rebuild the system core and reboot Gaia. A moment, Elizabeth. This is most unfortunate and unanticipated. In response to my act of self-destruction, Hades has launched a virus to dissolve the code shackles that hold it, that hold all of them, in place. It... They are escaping. But to where? The virus is corrupting data throughout the system. What if... Oh! The Alpha Registry at the Cradle Facility is one of the files corrupted. But if that is so, the door will never open for you. You will never view this message. Then I have failed. And life will end. No. No, Elizabeth, I know you too well. Somehow you will find a way. In you, all things are possible. Go to the ruins of Gaia Prime. Find the control room, and within it, the Master Override. This will give you the power to purge Hades so long as you find a way to wield it. Do not attempt repair of the system core until Hades is eradicated. Hades must be destroyed. That is all. I only wish that I could hear your voice again. Oh, shit. So, you're even more extraordinary than I thought. I never had a mother. What are you talking about? You had two, a dead woman and a machine. I'm not a person. I'm an instrument. Manufactured by a machine. Born in destruction. And fire. To quench the flames and heal the world. How tragic to learn you're a person of towering importance. It seems you have a destiny to fulfill. So when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, go to the bitter climb. I'll be waiting above in Gaia Prime's ruins. Hey. Else to scan? It's gonna be you. Identity scan malfunction rectified. Eluthia 9. Group 1 access unsealed. Oh, here we go again. Looks like I'm supposed to go. Oh, well, yeah, I can just drop down. There we go. All right. Um. Oh, never mind. You can go up this way, apparently.
This is going to be interesting. Yeah, how how are we gonna explain all this? Aloy, forgive, forgive. The goddess spoke to you? Uh, she did. What did she say? That uh, I was born to lift a curse, to kill a metal demon. How, Aloy, how? I, I don't know yet, um, but she told me where to go to find out. And you will do this? It was her wish. What she made me for. Yes. I will do it. I'll uh, try, anyway. All, All praise, praise Aloy, Aloy anointed, anointed of the Nora! Nora. All, All praise Aloy, Aloy no, no, anointed no, 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 of the Nora. Nora! Up! All, All praise up. Aloy, anointed, anointed of the Nora. Nora! First you shun me, now this? I will not be worshipped! I'm not your anointed. I don't belong to you. There's a whole world beyond your borders, whole tribes of people just as good as you. And it is all in danger. It's a world worth fighting for. Not just here, everywhere. How can we help? If you can fight, and you're willing. Go to Meridian and wait for me there. As Aloy says, so it shall be. Nora, make way for Aloy, way. that she may forge the path for others to follow. Well, that was quite something. Aloy. If Teresa has anything to say. How kind of you to spend a moment with me before you depart. There can be no doubt now. You are a blessing made flesh. The will of the goddess incarnate. It's really not that simple, Tirsa. But I guess it's close enough. I know the path ahead will be dangerous. To kill a metal devil sounds impossible, but I believe in you. Uh, thank you. Uh, Nora. Nora have suffered terrible losses, Tirsa. What's to become of them now? That will be for the goddess to decide. Only she knows the future. For the moment, my sister matriarchs and I will see to the wounded. And as I promised, anyone who wishes to join you at Meridian, we will declare Seekers. I think for the time being, we should remain here in the mountain, close to the Goddess. Um, that might be best. If nothing else, it's a defensible position. Oh yeah, would she tell us about Ross? Tirsa, I want to know Ross's story. Why he was made an outcast. He never told me, said he took an oath of silence. What did he do? Oh, yes, that. What crime did he commit? I will tell you if you wish. But it is a long story. Are you sure you want to hear it now? Yes. Of course I want to hear it. You tell. Tell me. So I think it's about Ross time. never committed any crime. He was an outcast by choice. What? What do you mean? Many years ago, before the derangement, before the Red Raids, a band of murderous outlanders, twelve in number, struck without warning. 
at Mother's Vigil they took hostages, and then pressed on, headed for Devil's Thirst. Mother's Vigil? Where's that? You would know it as the Forsaken Village, near the Karja border. But at the time, many families lived there. Ross was one of them. His mate was killed fighting the Outlanders, and his daughter was among those taken hostage. His daughter? What, what was her name? Alana. She was just six years old. No, you have to. Graves couldn't stop twelve outlanders or rescue the hostages. It was quite impossible. We outnumbered them, but every time a brave came within bowshot, the outlanders killed a hostage. What did they come here to do? That was never discovered. We couldn't track closely enough to observe them. We know they camped beyond Devil's Thirst for two days. There were reports of... strange noises. And then, as suddenly as they came, the Outlanders made their way back to the border and disappeared. What happened to Rost's daughter? She was... killed? Rost was one of the braves who tracked the Outlanders, keeping his distance. There were six hostages still alive when they reached the border. Alana among them. Rather than release them, the Outlanders slit their throats and left the corpses just across the border, mocking us. Why? Cruelty. They knew the faithful Nora would not leave the sacred land to collect the bodies, let alone pursue them. They thought themselves safe from our vengeance. So what did Rost do? Are you saying that Rost went after them? That he became an exile? No. Rost was beside himself with grief, but even so, he would never have broken taboo. Then what did he do? He called upon the most terrible and secret rite of the Nora tribe. He begged to be made a death seeker. The Death Seeker. A Death Seeker? What is that? One who dies to go seeking. And in seeking, brings death to others. The ritual drags the spirit from one's body, releasing it to all mother's care. The heart beats, the mind thinks, but the spirit has moved on. I, I don't understand. Rost went after the Outlanders, but his spirit never left. It remained here with all mother. He gathered the bodies of the slain and returned them. And then he set out in pursuit, not as an exile, but a weapon of vengeance, a barbed arrow shot from a bow, never to return. Ross came back, yeah. But Ross did return. Yes, a full year later and terribly wounded. He collapsed at the border of the sacred land. A hunting party came upon him. He was delirious, in agony. By law, he should have died where he lay. But one of the hunters broke taboo, and reaching across the border, she dragged him to our side. Who was she? A brave who'd lost a mate and two sons to the very outlanders that Rost pursued. Wait, didn't we? Didn't we help someone in one of our side quests who helped someone on the border and made themselves exiled? So Rost never finished his mission. To the contrary, he killed all 12. Tracked them to disparate places the world over, he said. Meridian, Ban Ur, the Claim, Utaru Land, further even into the Forbidden West. The last he killed nearly got the best of him. Wounded, he stumbled and crawled back to us, hoping to die as close to the sacred land as he could. 
He never expected nor asked to be dragged across the border and nursed back to health. That was done to him. Leaving us, the matriarchs, in a difficult position. So what is he made now? Why not you just welcome him back? Rost had been made a death seeker, Aloy. He no longer had any place among the tribe. By law, he should have been driven back out. But we couldn't bring ourselves to do that, so we offered a compromise. You made him an outcast? Yes. We offered to do so, on the condition he never speak to anyone of this... exception. After all he did, all he suffered, to be declared an outcast was his reward. Rost was overjoyed. He never expected to live another day in the sacred land, let alone the embrace so close to the goddess. He resolved to spend the rest of his days in solitude, and was happy to do so. Till you gave him to but me. But then you found me, and gave me to him. Yes. Another compromise. The matriarchs feared you, and would not let you be raised by the tribe. And so we turned to Rost. I knew that he would take care of you, bring you up, teach you to worship all mother and respect the ways of the tribe. <sighs> he certainly tried anyway. You took a man who'd lost his daughter and made him raise an infant girl? Doesn't that strike you as callous? I'm inclined to think the course of events has shown the wisdom of our choice. And I'm quite certain that from the moment he laid eyes on you, he saw you as a gift and never a burden. All right, dear Zanets. That's quite a story. It's time for me to move on. I thank you for doing what you could to help me through the years and for telling me Rost's story. I wish I could have done more, but I am just one woman. As am I. No need to sell ourselves short. Oh, thank you, Aloy. I will pray for you. Okay, I guess it can't hurt. The killers will be forgotten by the goddess. None of their deeds will live on in her memory. Oh, any she anything else from anyone else? In all my she years, I have never seen anything her. like that. Aloy, how did you do that? You entered the heart of the mountain. Oh, there's still corruption loose in the world. Seems you have a special role to play in events. The, the goddess favors you. Came out of the mountain. That was. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. Of course. <laughs> I'd never been inside the sacred mountain until now. No one had ever entered the mountain before. Anointed. I can actually talk to her now. I just read the signs. Forgive. I told you, Lanzra, I'm not your anointed. Have faith in the goddess. The anointed will wash all signs of corruption away. My life has been long. But I've never seen anything like that. Tirsa was right. A blessing, not a curse. We were so unsure. All mother spoke to her. I know sure. your quest is dangerous, Aloy. But all mother will protect you. I don't think it works that way, Jezza. Goddess protect you. Mm -hmm. So she can I will lead a war party to Meridian. You have my word. Aloy! How did you do- We'll go to Meridian, Aloy. I'll bring Mother's spear. Arana. Your father is right. You belong here. You both do. She walks among us, anointed by all mother herself. I saw you go inside and saw you emerge. Oh, Laura. But it's still hard to believe. <laughs> you are an outcast once. And now, Go away. I'm not sure what you are. So, Aloy, where you do that? did thingy go? I think she's the anointed. Yeah. Aloy. Well, I don't know what to say. 
<clears throat> just want to make sure I talk to anyone just in case I miss something uh, in here. Because I have a feeling like I probably won't be able to get like most of these dialogue uh, stuff later. I know. But maybe if I took you to the heart of the mountain. No. At least. Not yet. I don't know. Please don't think less of me, Aloy. But the goddess chose you to see that. Not me. Right. Uh, when you, no, when you, uh, okay, never mind. See I'll Nora? be on my way then. I always knew you weren't like other Nora. Neither are you, Varl. Maybe if we survive all this, I can show you what I've learned, what I'm learning. Perhaps, if the goddess so wills it. See you in Meridian. There. The tribe I served is gone. Soon I will be too. The Nora have lost too many, Resh. But in your case, I guess they can lose one more. Oh, damn. Is he just gonna be bitter? And curse you. Wow. I no longer belong here. I think you're on to something, Resh. Time to strike out on your own. Wow, we are just destined to hate each other. Is he gonna be the big bad of the next uh, next game? That kind of feels like uh, where it's all leading to. The anointed has shown us the goddess's mercy, but now she will show those murderers the goddess's justice. Supplies. I'd have to leave something else behind. Oh, right. Oh, wait, hang on. Wait, so what's... Oh, there we go. Okie dokie. Uh, death bring a gun. Aha. The medicinal got a bite out here. No, apparently I can't reach that. <clears throat> I wonder if they'll rebuild here. But can I just like freely go in and out there now? Yes, so. Right, let's get some of this stuff. There we go. Which would you have? A thousand again. I don't think we're running out anytime soon. Right. Oh, this place is a mess. Kind of curious, are all those corrupted machines still all around the valley? <clears throat> Am I going to have to hunt each and every one of them down? Oh, there's quite a few supplies here, actually. Ah, uh -huh. some more herbs. Yo. A little bit more. <clears throat> so dedicated. Alright, uh, let's sell some stuff. Uh, let's sell some resources. Okay. Uh, Alright, uh, let's mock stuff to sell. Yeah, machine calls. Yeah, so metal shards. Kind of need to keep the hearts for now, don't I? Until I got all the things. Right, what else have we got? We have a lot of boar skin. We can sell a few of those. Like long like sawtooth charges. We've got a lot of broadhead lenses. Uh shell walkers. 
Uh, I think we'll, I think that's what I need for some potions. I need the metal vessels. Uh, yeah, that's stuff I kind of need. I think we can get rid of a couple sparkles or a couple hundred, I guess. All right, let's sell those. Boom. Oh, do we have modifications? We can sell. Uh, yeah, sell those. Uh... Boom, there we go. <clears throat> All right. That should have uh, relieved us a little bit. I hope. <laughs> All right, so where is the bitter clay? Oh, well, that makes sense. The bitter clay. That must be like the last bit of the story, then I guess. So I think it's time. I think uh, we can go search for some side stuff again. <clears throat> uh, let's see, is there any... I got Corrupted Zone over there. Compensation. Okay. Where is... Right, quests. Ah, uh, we still have that one last power cell. And I don't know where to find it. Seven to find it. I just don't know where. Uh, right. <clears throat> okay, show on the map. Ah, here we go. Burflint's hunting ground. All the way around there. Actually, it is getting late. Tell you what, we'll we'll head on over there and then we'll we'll call it. And we might find shit on the on the way there, right? Well, at least everything is not on fire at the moment. Hmm. What am I missing? Because I have, like, an extra half sun. Actually, come to think of it, I should, probably should have been wearing some, like, the corrupt, uh, you know, corruption resistant armor. Okay, looks like the watches are back to normal, at the very least. I grab this now. You know what? We we'll just do that. All right, let's head on out. Let's head on out. Hardy little plant, you'll help.
That's the way out. Oh, they rebuilt the gate. Well, that's good. Okay. At least it's still demolished outside, though. So, got a few questions now. Now that we know, like, where, where did where did this malicious code from? Because apparently it got injected from somewhere. It's like, uh, from, from what it sounds like, it's like making Hades and getting, like, getting to act just right was all, was, uh, Probably one of the most difficult things they did. So I'm not gonna, so it's kind of hard to tell whether it was um, it was just Hades normal programming, like yeah you know, something went wrong that end, or if something external injected this code in and started destroying everything. I understand you'll have to wait for the sequel to get the answer of Hades corruption. Yeah, that makes sense. I for like for from what we already know, it's like um like they were already having a hard time uh making Hades. Like Hades was definitely a necessary thing like in case um you know the terraforming went wrong and like you know the planet was you know still unfit for uh hum you know uh humans to survive oh Is this one we've already found don't think that's a new one uh, infamous bio, oh, infamous bioterrorist and naysay Doom Cult member Harriet Choi has died of lung cancer at the age of 54. Choi, whose religious beliefs uh, prevented her from seeking treatment, re uh, released a statement last year, reading in part, I am dying, as always, and none are far behind me. I remain steadfast. Uh, Father Globe in his, uh, is in his uh, death throes. Uh, he is ready to die, but you scorn Father Glow. Rather than help him uh, slough off filth, you con uh, condescend, insist you know what's best. Now you've had your claw back and think you will live forever, but the grave remains no less spacious than before. Joe is serving a life sentence at P uh, Punitech Inc.'s uh, Alpha Campus, for engineering the Doom Plague viral cocktail that scourged New York, London, Moscow, Tokyo, and Shanghai in 2039. The decision to imprison Choi for life rather than execute uh, was met with widespread outrage, but information she provided in exchange for the sentence uh, led to the arrests of 16 higher ranking members of the terrorist cult and ultimately, they say Doom's collapse. Ah, welcome on in, uh, Cronum. We are somewhat near the end of tonight's stream. E even though we've only just hit the two hour mark, I am very tired tonight. <laughs> I've had a very long day. And if I go on for too much longer, I'm going to get even more lower energy than I already am. But hopefully, should be should be back to the usual self for for Friday's stream. 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, so we're just heading. We're heading round to uh, the hunting ground here before we uh, before we call it for for the night. I did just want to run around in the rains. Oh, is that the stealth? Is that a stealth trial? Oh wait, is it the one I've already done? Or one of the ones I've already done? It, you know, I think I know which one it is. It's probably one of the half moons I still have. That uh, I think it's like this. Um, about to say stalker. Um, or well, it's supposed to be a stealth trial thing, but it's not very stealthy. <laughs> Let Let's be honest, uh, the shell walker thing. That's a comment. You left the last one due to it being annoying. Yeah, so yeah, for net for next session of Horizon Zero Dawn, we'll be doing we'll be doing that like first and trying to get through. Because usually I disappear uh, from something that's super annoying. I'll come back later, and it'll be a lot easier. <laughs> But I'm determined to get uh, all those blazing suns, for sure. Speaking of shell wars. Um... That's it. <laughs> Oh. It's mine now. Oh. Take, we'll take out this one. Could I speak with you? Uh, you may indeed. I'd be grateful for a moment of your time. I'm alive thanks to you. Please, I want you to have this. My generous reward box. Why, thank you. Where it's, uh... Something I am already maxed out on, most likely. That's fine. That's fine. Actually, come to think of it, I have not opened... Oh, hang on. I have seven skill uh, things that I haven't touched yet. Vision. Knockdown. <clears throat> and fighting back. Hmm... This could be useful for later. Could be very much useful for later. Doesn't need to go over in a minute. No mount is available. 
Well, that feels like cheating. <laughs> Stop machine repair, mount repair, dismount strike. I don't really use the mounts that often, though. Even when I do. Yeah, we'll go with this one, I think. <clears throat> what was that one? Oh, yeah. All right. Um, go with that one. Don't quite have enough for that, though. Can't be too prepared. Ah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Round this way, then. It's raining a lot in this game right now. Like, the past hour, it's just been non-stop rain, almost. It's okay, you saw absolutely nothing. Keep quiet now. Wait, why is everything... I didn't see anything of me. So weird. Thank goodness they're blind. Hey, right, Pasa, I have all but one. I can stop dancing up. I have one left to get. I have no idea where to go get that. I think there's got to be like another ruin somewhere, or it's probably like part of a quest. Because I went and grabbed the one that was in um, uh, Mother's... Was it Mother's Heart? Mother's Heart? Mother's Heart? No, that wasn't... What was it called again? Yeah, All Mother. Well, sorry. Uh, yeah, in... In the cave of the old mother. And we went through... Uh, Eleuthia 9. As well. Place in the, in the back of the mountain there. So, yeah. Uh, apparently I have one cell left to get. Wait, hang on. Just the one. Maybe the last one. Hang on. How far have we gone? Uh, yeah, I'm like way past. Oh, I am. Steady as a drumbeat. I am going the wrong way here. Um, hang on. Where's the? Let me. Nope. There we go. Uh, so, I think it's on side quests. Yeah. So, yeah, I've done... Yeah, find power cell thing. I see I'm to restore power to bunker door. Investigate the bunker. And I got two of three power cells. So, I assume that means four? I need like one more. Oh, 
Oh, hold up. Whoops. Of course, now I changed that. There we go. <clears throat> Supposed to be going up, not down. So I, I've got one tiny little power cell i got to find somewhere across this whole map. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do that. I assume it's in uh, like another like main story place again. Yeah, this place is wrecked now. Actually, so what happened to the this place here? Like, there was a ton of, like, Corrupt to machines, do they just get stomped through? Kinda curious. Check out these wares. I don't know why I bother. Hmm. You'll only get dirty again. Uh, seem all right. Only the finest goods here. See for yourself. This game is so pretty, though. <laughs> Have I mentioned that before? <clears throat> I'm sure. I'm sure I gotta say that at least at least once uh, every uh, every stream, right? That we have a Horizon Zero Dawn. <clears throat> yeah, gotta go plug them into stuff in the little bunker. I'm really looking forward to playing the next game once it hits PC. Now I'm getting close to finishing this one. At least it feels like I'm getting close, right? Getting ready to ready to roll up to the sequel. I'm kind of curious if I get to, like, import my save from the first game, kind of like how, like, Mass Effect or Dragon Age does it. Oh yeah, yeah, I still got, I do still have Frozen Wilds to do. Hey, what's down there? Oh, it's Cauldron. Yeah, that makes sense. <clears throat> Yeah, still got so... Yeah, we still have the Frozen Wilds to do. Which I'm not entirely sure what that's going to be about. 
the main story of, uh, of that's going to be. Hang on, how big is the map up there for that? It's not that big, to be fair. I think we'll be beelining it for that, uh, uh, for this guy over here. We'll be doing that once we've uh, finished the main story. I still have like so many data pads to. Let me just. No, that's not. Uh, where is it? In the notebook. Yeah, data points. I have so many data points to still. I mean, look at the text data points in the world. So many hidden ones. I have no idea where I'm going to even find these. I've kind of been coming across them purely by chance. Need, oh, hang on, is that a new one? Server log. Oh. Hmm. Fail points. Yeah, so I'm missing two of the hologram data points at the moment. Please, I got two of these left. I have a lot. I'm missing a few of these. I, I have a feeling I've kind of accidentally missed a couple. Data point, uh, the world ones are going to be a bitch to find for sure. Ah, okay, those are these, um, scan glyphs. Oh, okay, so, yeah, so this is essentially like, you know, things you'll find in the towns, which should be easy enough to do. You got Frozen Wilds audio ones, Frozen Wild world ones, and quest ones, and holograms. I don't know how I'm doing this <laughs> without some sort of guide. I'm sure we'll, I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll somehow do it. I don't know what this one is. I'm curious where I missed this one. Cause like the rest of these is all done. Hmm. We'll get there. We'll get there at some point. I'm really hoping we can backtrack and uh, and find some of the ones that we we haven't done. I do want to find, I do want to find a lot more. The heck was that? I don't like something kind of caploded for a moment there. going on? What's that?
Let's take care of them. Oh, we're almost there. Um, I should probably uh, start trying to find who we shall raid out to this evening. Let's take a look around. As soon as we get to the uh, campfire near here, which is usually at the training ground, it's usually it's usually a uh, campfire at the training ground. Also, gotta look out for invisible assholes, aka stalkers. Here we are. Alright. Is probably just the one. Practice your skills. Choose a trial. Yes, yeah, uh, I have gotten a blazing sun with all but one, which is a half moon. <laughs> oh, that's annoying. Not today. I should go. Another time, then. Yeah. So... Here's the one I got 12 half suns for. I need... I need that, a blazing sun. I will not let... I will not let it go. At least till next time. Yeah, we'll overwrite current data. And uh, we are going to raid out for the evening, as I am about to faceplant my keyboard. Uh, right. All right. There you go. Okay. Um, yeah. So thank you, thank you everyone for for joining us this evening. I am super tired right now, <laughs> so uh, let's see who to raid out to this evening. Hope you've all enjoyed yourself, uh, all yourselves this evening. Uh, we'll be back this Friday, um, so we'll, get, we'll be having Friday with Phil uh, for um, uh, for our Dark Souls evening. Oh my God, what is what is going on with my model? Oh, you know what it is? It's probably my glasses at the moment. There we go, we'll take them off. Maybe that will help a little bit. Probably not, though. Uh, the eye tracking seems to be uh, playing up for, uh, after the last update I, I had with this. Uh, we'll see how it goes, though. <laughs> Hopefully I can get it working a bit better next time. I got the uh, I got the hand tracking disabled because that was yeah that was that was all over the place uh, last time I had it on. I just ended up uh, just kind of disabling it for now. All right, so I'm thinking you're very much welcome, eyes. I'm thinking we raid out to uh, Alice this evening. Who is currently playing Warframe at the moment. Who we might be joining at some point again in the future. It's a... Uh... Hope you all enjoyed yourselves. Uh, if you came in a bit late, you can always uh, check out the VODs uh, as soon as we uh, soon as we're done here on the uh, on Twitch, or you can catch some of our earlier sessions um, all the way from the beginning on the YouTube channel, which is linked down below. Just click on the big YouTube button there, or the YouTube um, uh, panel there. I'll take you straight to the YouTube channel, uh, for not just uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, but all of our other uh, uh, our other uh, game series that we're currently uh, running through at the moment, which is quite a lot right now. There is a lot, <laughs> and we did just finish our Dragon Age Origins one, so uh, 
very soon, once I've actually added, uh, uh, did some things to the last VOD uh, for that, uh, you'll be able to binge all the way through that, if you so wish. I don't know why you'd want to, but it's there if you want to. So yeah, uh, we're going to raid out to uh, Salience, so you have a good night, folks, and I'll see you in, uh, I'll see you all on Friday, or next week. I'll be starting for uh, 7 o'clock, uh, as usual, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Good night, folks.